don't believe, what they'll tolerate, what they won't tolerate, etc. And so people have been uh, treated like zombies, like they don't have minds of their own because they're mind controlled for the most part. So there really isn't anybody you can fully trust unless they've been purified of this stuff and there are things that you can do to fix this problem in your body. Um, and I'll go, uh, those ch Asian foot pads will help draw those metallics out of your body when you sleep at night. Just wear them every night until this war is over. Uh, let me go back now to the uh, polyacetyl uh, oxalate. Um, when a person starts having, um, uh, when, they, when they're when they getting sprayed with this stuff, the first thing that they'll notice is that their bowels will get real irritable. They'll start getting nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, um, and then it, when that persists long enough, they'll start getting intestinal bleeding, and this can be quite severe and quite lethal. Especially these farmers that are going out in the morning, they need to stop that. We got to get the word out. They, those those farms are not safe until the morning when the air is warm and dry, and they need to stay indoors or they're risking their life in two ways. They could blow up or they could bleed to death. But anyhow, uh, the, the the population needs to know that if they've been affected and they are having these digestive problems, that when they go into the hospital to tell the doctor that this is what I have inhaled and I believe that I need platelets uh, infused into my body to stop this hemorrhaging. Uh, people who are having these, you know, have uh, bronchi uh, bron bronchitis and cold symptoms get tested and they're they're negative for bacterial infection. They're negative for viral loads. Uh, but yet here they have all these symptoms and they develop pneumonia and they die. I've told you how to get that crap out of your body, but here's what you tell your doctor. You tell your doctor that you've been, drink you've been breathing mustard gas. Then that way he'll know to check your acid-base balance of your blood and confirm it. And then there's, uh, there's specific things that they can do to really quickly uh, uh, correct somebody's body that's out of balance in their acid base. So if you end up in a hospital in, in, in pretty critical shape, you tell them what you want. Now, I, I've told people for years, back when I started the militia, I said, you know, the best thing you can do is take your gun out, clean it, load it, and shoot the TV. Because yeah. uh, they don't call it programming for nothing. That's right. Now, That's right. In, in, the, in a few times that I have been over somebody's house and uh, they had TV on as background noise generally, every other every other commercial was for pharmaceuticals. Now, yep. they have demonized smoking marijuana pretty thoroughly since they stole our number one cash crop in 1939. But, uh, it disturbs me to see, I mean, if you really check and see what they're trying to sell you, they've got a 7,000% markup on things like, I think Valium's 3,000%. Luvox, you know, seven thousand percent markup. They make more money off these doctor-written prescriptions than they do off of the heroin or the cocaine or the methamphetamine that the CIA runs. Also, and if you look at the contraindications on this, on these pharmaceuticals they want to give you, they are technically poisoning you. And, and, and isn't this isn't this all pretty deliberate? I mean, if if uh, if if you live too long past 65, well, the uh, the they might have to account for some of the social security money they stole. Right, right. You don't pencil out if you live, so they're trying to make sure you don't. And and they insure actually the American people and the soldiers. Our soldiers are actually insured. So if you if you die in battle somewhere, somebody makes some money off of you, don't they? I, I haven't heard that, but it wouldn't surprise me. These guys bet on everything at Wall Street, and there's even a black market uh, attached to that where they sell, buy and sell your birth certificates. And, um, and so they think they have a right to your lifelong earnings, your lifelong energetic output, all of it. Even, <clears throat> even your emotional output is harvested because there's, a, a, there's actually free energy in it. We are electromagnetic devices, all of us. And, uh, and we can measure your emotions on your skin. It's called electrical conductance. And we all have it. And so when they stir us up and make us worry and make us angry and frustrated, we're actually feeding them. So we have to really check our attitudes at the door and get this in perspective and realize that we have already won this. We have taken our country back. And, uh, and, and uh, we have been recognized by 80 nations. <laughs> 80 nations around the world have recognized the original republic of the United States. Uh, Tim Turner's the president of this, and we can all go in there and, and throw our hats into the ring for the real America, 
at republicoftheunitedstates.org and get this thing rolling. We need people to, to occupy all the positions needed to rid ourselves of this infestation we've got. Now, I, I've heard a few negative things about Tim Turner. I don't know. He was involved with... Uh, uh, what was the uh, what was the other guy's name that he was involved with? Kennedy, Sam Kennedy. Yeah. And uh, well, <coughs> I, is, I can tell you right now that he is surrounded by highly spiritual people, people who understand uh, not all of them, but a lot of them understand what's causing the shadow government situation uh, in uh, here on on this planet. It's a planetary problem. It's not just in America. It's just especially strong in America because this is where the seat of power is. This is where they're pulling all the uh, pulling all the triggers and calling all the shots. Um, well, this is where the muscle is. I should say that the, the shots are actually being called from Britain. The Queen's calling them. Right. But, uh, or or the Rothschild. The Queen has to ask permission to enter the city of London. <laughs> Good luck. Her people don't like her anymore. They seized all her assets. She had to cancel Christmas. She couldn't afford to throw a party for her friends, poor thing. Oh, uh, that's uh, the the uh, this this republic, this republic. Uh, now that's 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 what everybody's trying to do. Uh, Grandma uh, V K Herman, she's got a she's got a trust uh, that. Uh, you know, the Kennedy, I mean, I'm sorry, the Clintons tried to seize. They've uh, murdered her husband, they've killed, they've killed a lot of people here to, to keep us. I, 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 uh, I, I think we have been a slave planet for about 10,000 years. And I yeah, don't, yeah, I, I, I've got a film out called uh, uh, No Such Thing as a New World Order. I said the money changers, Jesus ran out of the temple, are still with us. They just changed the name of the temple. They call it the Federal Reserve of the Bank of England now. There you go. You got it. Now you say this is uh, this is planetary. I said they don't call it. I, I've got a lot of people that want to. Well, we're we're going to go to we're going to go down to Costa Rica. We're going to move over to the Cayman Islands. We're we're going to go somewhere else. They don't call it the New World Order for nothing. They've got people in every every country, every government that are right. working for the the bad guys here. Yeah, they're all yeah they're all the yeah the crooked countries are in on it too. Um, that's why we formulated NAFTA to make friends with people that, that uh, you know, were not an asset to the Americans, but they were an asset to the shadow government. We've got uh, we're 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 putting down Iran. We put we attacked Iraq, uh, Afghanistan. These are all people that didn't go along with the uh, one world government plan of the bankers, by the bankers, and for the bankers. Right. Is that right, accurate? Right. Well, we've got to understand now that the uh, the incorporation of the United States of America was a treasonous act and therefore illegal and therefore not enforceable. So we're just going to pretend that they don't even exist because legally they don't. We don't even need to uh, fight it in a court of law. It is de facto, uh, you know, it, 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 they just are Ill illegitimate. And uh, President Obama has already been informed. He was already tried in the Supreme Court for falsifying his birth certificate to, to, be, uh, to, to suggest that he was an American citizen when he never has been. We did produce his actual Kenyan birth certificate, and the Supreme Court ruled in our favor. We're getting ready to impeach the man, but he's still acting as if. However, he has agreed not to do any public addresses that are official uh, with the American flags behind him anywhere in the scene. So he just addressed the nation a couple of days ago, and, and uh, Last guess night. what? Last no flag. Night. So he's honoring the agreement. He knows he's toast. Actually, the flag was up in Tucson. The, the gold fringe flag was up in Tucson. Not uh, the American flag, though, right? Well, the gold fringe American flag. Oh, well, yes. that's the Confederate fr flag. That's different. The American flag has no fringe. The Confederate flag does. So they can fly that one, but that flag is illegitimate. That gold fringe is, is a sign of, of the Illuminati. It is not a sign of the American Republic. Now, the, uh, you know, I've talked a lot about this, and I've been called anti-Semitic because I've said that Israel is, uh, you know, it's an, well, it's, an it's an illegitimate country. I mean, they, but, uh, you know, we fought yeah. two world wars to develop that. I mean, they, they promised Lord Balfour something, you know, if he'd give them, give them Palestine. Now, of course, he couldn't give away Palestine, and then the League of Nations failed because two countries wouldn't go along with it. The United States and Russia wouldn't sign on to the League of Nations, so it failed. 
So what they did is invade, the Bolsheviks invaded Russia, killed the Tsar, murdered the Tsar, his wife and, and countries, uh, and daughters, and dogs. They, they murdered them, killed them, and, and set up the whole Soviet Union. Here in the United States, they gave us the Federal Reserve. Right, 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 right. These guys are crafty bastards, and they, they're patient, too, because they live a long time. Uh, let me tell your audience something they don't know. The milk that you get from the dairy farm does not have the colostrum in it from, uh, from these, uh, the, the, the newborns. Uh, those cows produce a lot of colostrum, and uh, they strip it off, and they turn it into a powder, and they live off this stuff, and, uh, and it gives you a lot of longevity. So you, your audience needs to know that they can buy colostrum on the Internet uh, from organic farmer, uh, farmers, yeah, uh, dairy farmers, and uh, start taking this stuff, and, and you'd be amazed and how, how much great health you're going to have just by putting this reg regularly in your diet a little bit every day. Colleen, there was a, a, an Amish farmer that was selling raw milk to in New York. They raided his farm, they arrested him, they, they destroyed his whole life. Not surprised. They, they want us dying. They don't want us healthy, and so that's why they're making vitamins illegal and everything else and the, in fact they're, they're pass, they they pass in the United States they passed a uh, 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 some kind of something that says that uh, you can be arrested for growing a, a garden in your own backyard. That's right. They want uh, that's the uh, Food Safety Act. They just put that in. They don't want you trading your food, sharing your food with your neighbor. They want the government coming in there. They, that's the same reason they did the uh, NAIS, the National Animal Identification System. They want you to chip your chickens and report it to the governor government if they uh, cross a road. Yeah, that, that's not going to happen. Like I said, that, that government's illegitimate, so we don't need to get angry at anything that they've done. We're, we're there, we have already unseated their president. We're going to unseat the rest of them here real quick. Uh, we need the help of every American with an earshot to do this. I don't know about Grandma. She was, up the, she was doing the right thing, uh, but I don't know what kind of numbers she has, uh, and I do know the kind of numbers that Tim has, and I know that they've already held their first convention, and uh, all of it's legal, like I said, and it's been ratified by 80 nations in this country country already and I doubt grandma's got that kind of support no, already. No, she doesn't then. You know, she, uh, grandma, uh, grandma or I have been kept so, so beaten down, you know, we can't even go to the dentist to get, uh, you know, dental work done. Yeah, so so you need to go. You need to go to the republic that actually has authority that's recognized internationally, and and Tim's group has it. Yeah, uh, give me that website again. I'll put that up on the chat room here. Republic of the United States dot org. And as I told you as we were talking on the phone, that 80 Tibetan monks came and met with Tim after we got this all legitimized and told him that uh, uh, 40 years ago an angel came to them and told them to start saving gold because a new republic, the Republic of the United States was going to reemerge and they needed to be ready for it. And then after Tim was uh, legitimized, with the whole government was legitimized, they approached him and told him that they had 17 million or 17 billion dollars in gold that they had been saving for 40 years and an angel had come to them again recently and told them that Tim was the guy that they had been waiting 40 years for. So so we have confirmation from the spirit realms that, uh, that you know, heaven is backing us up. Our, our, our Father is behind this, our Creator. So uh, so we need to get on board. I mean, it's been ratified by heaven and by I the international uh, community. So, so this is the real deal, and we need to get it populated. We need to get it manned, and we need to take, uh, take this country back, uh, and peacefully, too. All we got to do is hand down indictments for all these guys, and all the evidence has already been collected. It's all available. You know, we're, we, I, myself and everybody in America is really outraged about the shooting of this uh, congresswoman and the federal judge who may have been the real target. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I've said the, the, the problem that we've got is how do you fight evil without becoming evil? And to me, that's what Jesus did. Not, not, not the churches. Not the churches. The churches, I think, are, have been infiltrated and taken over, and the churches are there to keep you enslaved. Jesus said the truth will set you free. And exactly. I, I, think they, I think they promoted Jesus to God at the Council of Nicaea, 200 something uh, AD, because they didn't want men like me striving to be the kind of men that Jesus was. 
Yeah, they took over the whole religion and started murdering the people that were actually uh, walking in the way, it was called. Uh, they, they never called it Christianity, they just called it the way, because Jesus came here and showed us the way. He was a way shower. Now we've got lots of way showers on this planet with the Christ consciousness, and, uh, and they, they're realizing that they are actually heavenly entities, that they are very ascended individuals, and they are very powerful metaphysically speaking, and I happen to be one of those. Um, I woke up earlier this year, or last year, January the 31st, and two weeks later I knew everything you needed to know about, uh, about physics um, and free energy. It just, it came, it came, uh, just in a night, I, you know, I woke up with all this information and it was downloading into my mind continuously for weeks. And uh, that's what prompted me to start writing a book because the humans need this information because this takes you to free energy, anti-gravity, transmutation of the elements and all kinds of really cool stuff. And so, um, so, so that's what I started doing. And uh, but there's a lot of people like me. But but uh, weeks and weeks went by after uh, my mind expanded, and all of a sudden I I thought you know I ought to be able to do certain kinds of things electromagnetically since because I understand the physics of electromagnetics, and so I started playing around. And sure enough, man, I am in control. I can create lightning. I can pull it towards me. I can let it go wherever I want to. Uh, I can make it rain, I can make it stop raining, I can make it rain harder, I can make it drizzle. Um, I have uh, frozen river, not not frozen into ice, but I, I caused a river to stop flowing while I was monkeying around with the, uh, lo the low harmonics called phonon frequencies and attracting these very cold particles to, to me and my friend on this boat. And when I got done horsing around with my metaphysical powers, a wind started blowing so bad it almost overturned the boat. That was a side effect I hadn't counted on. But, uh, but, you know, it's in, it's in my bag of tricks now. I learned about it that way. And, uh, you know, and so, and there's other people like me. I don't know anybody as powerful as me, but uh, there's everybody that I've talked to has some kind of metaphysical power, such as being able to heal, be telepathic, be clairvoyant. Um, you know, and so the angels are waking up on this planet. We all incarnated here in human bodies, and now we're here to show these bad guys the door. You know, I, I have felt that for years, uh, that uh, I came here in 1946, because uh, when they blew up the atomic bomb at, at White Sands, I, I was sent here. I, I, I had to come. Yep. Yep. Well, yeah, that was uh, about 70 years ago. That was the first wave. Uh, the planet herself, got her name's Gaia. Um, she's Six, actually... 64. 60, 64, actually. Don't make me older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> But anyhow, no, I mean, but uh, but it, it was uh, the nuclear weapons program was what got got Gaia nervous, and she finally asked for help with this problem she's got here. Uh, she's got multiple species that inhabit her uh, underground, uh, underground, uh, and, and humans are little aware of it. We live on the surface, and we think that if we don't see it, it's not there, and that's not true. There's plenty we can't see. Yeah, and, matter of uh, fact, let me let me stop you right there because somebody somebody on the uh, my chat room wanted to know. They, they have a, a couple of questions. One of them wanted to know about the court date. When did the Supreme Court rule on that? Because it hasn't been in the news. Of course, it won't be in the news. No, it won't be in the news. But this was just in the last few days. Um, and it was just on Sunday that the military joint chiefs signed their allegiance over to the Republic. And it was Monday that 33 sheriff's departments did the same thing. And uh, we're getting agreements signed every day now that we've been legitimized and can prove that we have a legal claim to our own country. Now, uh, Dr. Decharge on the chat room says, uh, wants to know if you know about the greys located at uh, Dulce, for instance. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. That is the most abominable place on the planet right now. If there's another one like that, God help us. Yeah, Dulce, uh, one, uh, a friend of mine that I had on my show years and years ago, uh, Phil Snyder, was uh, murdered because uh, he was exposing Dulce. Yes, uh, about 70 people died in a raid of Dulce. Uh, they pulled out gray aliens, humans, and reptiles out of there um, in that gunfight. And the, and the sheriff's department down there in Dulce, New Mexico, they will tell you that it happened, but they won't give you any details because they've been told they're not allowed to talk about it, and they're taking it seriously. But they will confirm that it happened. They just won't give you any details. Now, what you talked about, you 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 said something about me being an angel, and uh, that's yes. that, that was kind of interesting because on uh, on my website, I have a, a little section there, right beside uh, next to uh, my show and uh, the videos that I put up about a. Uh, I got a video on underground bases. I said that forms a small part of my fiction novel. 
working title Lucifer's Legend. I started uh, working on this novel over 40 years ago. I said it will um, encompass explanations of our history, the Bible, and even go into the future to illustrate possible reasons for the building of these bases while drawing from events thousands of years in the past. In my novels, Lucifer appears as a 5,000-year-old man, long-lived and powerful in all but uh, appearance. And what I wrote there, thousands of years ago, the earth was a different place. A race like no other existed. Theirs was a technology far ahead of the levels we know today. They faced a disaster similar to that which killed the dinosaurs. They sent their people out into space. Only a few brave souls stayed to help the less advanced inhabitants of the planet uh, rebuild. That would be the slaves, the people that were in charge of mining, the people that were in charge of growing the plants. I said they were genetically advanced men, almost immortal, incredibly powerful, telepathic, and able to manipulate matter in, with their minds. They were known as gods, angels, warriors, and demons among the survivors of our planet's close encounter with a galactic intruder. The legends and names of, their, of these beings are scattered throughout our history. Their power grew all pervasive and hidden through, throughout modern times. Humanity was divided, conquered, and controlled by unseen hands. Today, the balance of power shifted into the hands of the most feared being in history. Meet Lucifer. Yeah, yeah, Lucifer, you can see what he looks like on the North Pole on Google Earth. Um, he's actually a vampire uh, human hybrid. He has bat ears and bat fangs, and there's a big portrait of him at the North Pole. It's a superimposed picture. There's two faces there. There's a, uh, there's the face of my dad, Captain Jack, there, who the Bible calls Jah. Um, Elijah means El uh, means uh, Jah is God. That's what Elijah's name meant, and that's who Elijah was working for. And um, but uh, anyway, it's pronounced Jack because in the Hebrew the H is a K sound. It's it's not a, an H sound like it is for us. And so, uh, so Captain Jack's face is there, and he looks like uh, uh, um, Captain Blackbeard. He's a, he's a pirate with a hat on, and he's got his ribbon flying in the air behind him. He's looking up, and this vampire hybrid uh, individual is looking down, and uh, that thing, I don't know how long it's been there, uh, hasn't been visible in the past because uh, all that uh, sea was covered in ice, but the whole North Pole has been melted now. And uh, so the sea is absolutely ice-free, and you can look at the sea floor, and that's where you see these, this superimposed image. It's really cool. Yeah, you'll have to send me a, uh, something on that. The, this, uh, uh, it, 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 it's, it's nice to know that uh, we might have some backup and help out there. You know, but people have known about this for, for thousands of years. Aristotle said, a tyrant must put on the appearance of uncommon devotion to religion. Subjects are less apprehensive of illegal treatment from a ruler whom they consider God-fearing and pious. On the other hand, they do less easily move against him, believing that he has the gods on his side. Right, exactly. It's a it's a form of intimidation. Uh, the whole the whole thing was a lie, where it said that we would uh, be killed and uh, uh, fry in heaven forever and ever if we did not obey Yahweh. Yahweh is from I Ibania. It's a it's a different star system in the Milky Way. Uh, Yahweh it has no uh, he does not have the human interests at heart. He lied to them to control them, and he enslaved them with that religion. So, so, um, and he thought he was given us culture, uh, and that's how he defends himself. But he has ruined the culture on this planet. He made it worse, not better. And um, and so, uh, but he he belongs to a confederation of the Southern Galact uh, Galactic. And that's how you can tell the good guys from the bad guys. The ba the bad guys have confederations. The good guys have federations. And um, and so uh, the Galactic uh, Federation and the Galactic Councils and all this kind of stuff, um, th those are the good guys. However, there's a dummy uh, outfit out there called the Galactic Federation of Light, and they're the bad guys. They're the counterfeit. This is what we were warned about, the, the strong delusion at the end of the age. That's the Theta machine and all this counterfeit stuff. Uh, so it's real dicey out there for people to know the truth and know what's actually going on. And uh, the Vatican has stolen so much of the historical record that the humans are literally in the dark about most of this. But now that some of them are getting telepathic, they're writing books and they're telling the stories as dictated by the Federation, who wouldn't lie because they represent Prime Creator. 
and they live in love and they act in love and their weapons are weapons of peace they they disable our nu nuclear weapons america has shot five armed nuclear weapons just since november we shot one from la we shot one from san diego Char charlotte north carolina new york and just last week another one that was seen from from texas so um so they keep trying to fire these nuclear weapons. They want their Armageddon like nobody's business. They went back in time and they planted that little story into the human psyche. And people have believed it and they know that humans are powerful gods in reality. And they can manifest any reality that they want if they collectively believe in it. And that's why we have a stronghold of these religions who believe in Armageddon and think that this is the end of the world and all this kind of well, stuff. I, I kind of I think we've been in Armageddon for the last hundred years. Well, they've been trying it. They have been trying to do it for some time now, and they're, they're just stepping <laughs> well, it up. <laughs> the, the, the press just failed to tell us. They, they didn't tell you that, uh, you know, we've killed over 100 million people in wars in this last century. The, yes, the Americans have. Yes, yes. We, we are aggressors, and now we're terrorists. We are, we are poisoning our own people. Uh, our own military is spraying us with mustard gas, with herbicides. They're killing our food. They're genetically engineering our crops so that they're all malfunctioning too. The farmers saying that that these uh, these seeds that you buy from all these corporate entities are all fouled up. Well, let's see. Uh, the the ninth plank on the uh, Communist Manifesto is corporate farms. Can you say Monsanto? Yeah. And yeah, and, and the uh, plank number seven of the Communist Manifesto is government ownership of factories and agriculture. Can you say General Motors? <laughs> Can you say Archer Daniels of Midland? Oh, we're going to make we're going to we're going to we're going to clean up we're going to clean up uh, the air. We're going to uh, Archer Daniels Midland is going to make ethanol that we can add to the gasoline. Well, you know, they they did the same thing to our farmers back in uh, with prohibition. They made the farmers that were running their tractors, running their, their Model A's and Model T's on corn liquor, on alcohol. Every farmer had a still, and suddenly they all became criminals. They became bootleggers. And, and, Hold and, and, on a second, Clay. Um, uh, would you like to get a message from your divine family? They just interrupted me and told me your real name if you'd like to hear it. Sure, I'd love to hear my real name. Jebediah. Jebediah, huh? Yeah, go look him up in the Bible. That was you once upon a time. It's you now, too, as soon as you come full into full consciousness and remember what you did when you were here before and what you're here to do now. I I believe that I, I know that. You know what I've said, and, of course, I, I get demonized a lot, but uh, I've said, you know, if you're omniscient and omnipotent, if you can, cre if you, can uh, if you know everything and you can do anything, what are you? You'd have to be the most bored entity in the universe. I got more. I got more information for you if you're interested. Go right ahead, dear. Go right ahead. This is I your met, hour. I met you spiritually already, and um, and a uh, very dear person, by the way. And he's telling me that that's who I met, and uh, and I knew then that he's four generations ahead of me in the divine family, um, and uh, and and there's we we switch positions in the family every time we incarnate again and again and again. I don't know where Jebediah was in the Hebrew. Hebrew family, but um, I do know who I was. I was um, I was Isaac's wife, Rebecca, and um, and so uh, the, I was the mother of the twelve tribes of Israel that became uh, the divine family, who are Pleiadians. They are they were a true strain of Pleiadians uh, that came through Moses. And uh, our seed was preserved that way, and uh, we protected our own. And uh, when the draconian king of Babylon sacked Israel before Jesus ever got here, um, they did it twice, actually. And, um, and they were so vicious and so brutal. And we were a loving, peaceful people, and so we just vacated the lands as soon as we were let go. He freed us, and then uh, I think about 400 years later, he came and sacked us again. And so what was left of us left then. And so the Jews that are calling themselves Jews today are not. They're draconian descendants. They're the people that took those lands violently and ran a peaceful people off. And uh, they are usurpers and liars. They know that they're not Jews. They go by a book called the Talmud. They do not go, uh, n I'm sorry, yeah, the Talmud. They do not go by the Torah. They do not go by the Torah. It's kind of it's kinda, Talmud, it's kinda yeah. interesting. Now, you know, I, I get demonized a lot, and, and it's it's like I'm always, I'm always under attack by these creatures. And uh, 
I have never, ever in my life walked up to somebody and go, are you Jewish? Are you a Muslim? Are you a Christian? Right, I, we're I not a bigot. We, you and I talked already. Neither one of us is a bigot. We're just, ca we're just calling uh, the kettle black on who, what, who represents what species and who represents what interest on this planet. The Draconians do not represent human interests. And those Zionist Jews are Draconians. They're not humans. And I don't say hate them because they're not human. I know lots of uh, uh, Jews that I like a lot. Uh, I mean, I, I'm telling you, I love a man, uh, a bunch of them, in fact. <laughs> 